Giving blood is super important during this time. There are so many people who need it, and it has a lot of uses to help us combat COVID-19. But the old method of blood donation might not work these days. Everyone is just a little too close. So the Red Cross had to get innovative and they have some, they have come up with some great options for those who still want to donate. So joining us now with the details, we have the executive director of our region for the American Red Cross, Gretchen Helmstead. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Callie. And I'm sure a lot of people are worried about staying six feet apart from people as they donate, but how have you made that possible? Yeah, absolutely. Well, if you've given blood before, you know that it has to be a really clean um, environment anyway, but we are implementing some additional uh, precautions just with the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and so what people can expect if they um, want to donate blood, we are asking that everybody schedules an appointment. Um, you know, traditionally we could accept walk-ins as well, but it would really help to schedule an appointment uh, first. And then you just show up about five minutes before your appointment, and then that really helps helps us kind of manage the donor flow and make sure that we don't have too many people there at once. Um, and then all of our donation beds are spread uh, at least six feet apart. And so uh, everybody can feel comfortable in that way. And then the, right when you arrive, we will be taking your temperature uh, before you enter the main blood drive area. So just to make sure that you don't have a fever or anything like that. And then um, we are requiring everybody to wear a face covering or a mask. So if you could bring your own, that would be great. But we also have those available for folks if they don't if they don't have their own. Um, and then, of course, all of our nurses and volunteers, they will also be wearing face coverings and gloves and um, wiping down surfaces and, and that sort of thing. And we'll have hand sanitizer readily available, too. So lots of extra precautions. But um, other than that, it really is just a regular blood drive. Awesome. And I heard that you still have a few spots open for the blood drive today. When and where is that happening? Yeah, we have a blood drive happening today at our Red Cross office in North Fargo. Um, it's just north of the Fargo Dome off of University. We're at 2602 12th Street North. Um, that's happening from 1 to 7 o'clock today. Uh, we only have two appointments available. I just checked on our website. Um, so if you are available, jump on and, and grab one of those appointments. Um, but if you're not able to make it today, that's okay. We've got lots of other drives coming up too. Um, we're actually out in Pelican Rapids tomorrow um, and then throughout July. July, August, and September, we're in Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls and Underwood. So um, you can go to redcrossblood.org at any time and just type in a zip code and it'll show you a whole list of blood drives that are coming up. Um, and then the next one here in Fargo at our Red Cross office is September 9th. Okay, and you'll be testing all donations for COVID-19 antibodies, is that correct? That is correct. Yep. For a limited time, we are um, testing all blood, platelet, and plasma donations for COVID-19 antibodies, um, just as an additional service to our donors, our blood donors. Um, and we're hoping that this testing will provide some insight into whether donors have been exposed to the virus. So this isn't a diagnostic test. It won't tell you if you had COVID-19 or not, but simply if you've been exposed to the virus and, and your body has built up those antibodies. Okay, and is there any cost to this? I guess, how long does this process take? Um, it, it, just your regular blood or platelet or plasma donation um, will be tested. And so it's no addi additional time for you. And the Red Cross is doing this free of charge. So it costs the Red Cross a little bit of money, but it will not cost the donor anything. And so um, that's another good way that you can help if you're not able to give blood. Um, if you would like to give a financial donation, that's something that you can donate to um, because it does cost us a little bit of money to test those antibodies. Um, so uh, if you'd like to give a financial donation too, that's always welcome, of course. That is awesome. You guys do so much. I think we have a minute left. Did you quickly want to plug your website and then um, talk about you know, other things people should know as they donate their blood? Yeah, absolutely. So if you're wanting to schedule an appointment, um, you can download our Red Cross Blood Donor app. It's a really easy way. That's I donated last month and that's how I did it. Um, you can go to redcrossblood.org or you can just call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Uh, so those are all ways that you can search for blood drives near you and schedule an appointment. Um, and just wanting to let people know that um, 
you know, although that we had a really, really extraordinary turnout of blood donors at the beginning of the pandemic, it's important to know that those blood donations have to be used within 42 days of donation. Um, and so if you gave at the beginning of the pandemic, your blood has already been used. And so we just encourage you to come back and schedule another appointment. Um, and I'll have to tell you that I donated uh, last month and just last week I got an email uh, from the Red Cross that said my blood got used at a um, hospital in Minneapolis. So there was a patient in need and that and my blood got used. And so that was really cool. If you schedule through our uh, blood donor app, they'll actually tell you where your blood goes and when it gets used. And so it's it's just really kind of a feel good to know that you really are helping somebody who needed it. Wow, they gave me goosebumps. That is awesome that you're able to find that out. Well, thank you so much for being on our show today, Gretchen. It was really nice meeting you virtually. <laughs> thank you, Callie. And coming up today on today's show, we have much more coming up right after this. <laughs> 